So what you have here is a HD CRT up against an LED monitor. And this is actually a really good one. It's an XG270. This is a Blur Busters approved monitor and they've incorporated a feature in this called black frame insertion. And what that does is allows the motion to be super smooth like how it used to be on the CRTs but at a cost of a lot of brightness. LEDs generally to begin with, like they can be super bright, but they don't have the colors that a CRT has. And I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of that. Let's go take a look right now and I'll show you what I mean by that. So yeah, the light you're looking at right there, that guy's an LED and this one's an incandescent. And you'll see that this guy gives off a nice red light and this guy gives off what would be more of a harsh white light. And it and LED, you can just see right off the bat too, LEDs are really bright. You usually have to look for really uh, low, they, they just don't have the same quality, but this is a high quality LED. It's a CRI 95, which stands for color rendering index. But yeah, as you can see, so generally when we're looking at our LED screens, let's get back to the screens. So if you're someone that suffers from a lot of eye strain like I do, you can see that this guy's actually pretty dim. And strangely enough, I'm able to crank up the brightness on the CRT. And there's a reason for that is because CRTs are more comfortable to the eyes because they have a lot more red light in them and they have a low amount of blue light, how that incandescent bulb looked. And when we switched over to this, you just get high blue light all the time. So for people like me who get eye strain like super easily, I usually run my gaming monitors at a very low brightness. Like I'm pretty sure it's a set to a brightness of 10. But let's get into this black frame insertion because I want to show you what's going on here. So if you look at this game, you can see it's at 120 FPS right there. And I can run this game at a lock 240, but I find after like an hour or two, I kind of start getting a little, um, I don't know what the right word is, just from the motion, a little bit dizzy. So if this monitor, if you drop it down to 120, and I'm gonna give you a warning because I'm not sure how this is gonna look on the camera, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty flickery. So let's get into it here. Like I've actually got the monitor locked to 120, but now I've put on black frame insertion. And what that does is when you start moving the character across the screen, the motion is really good. Um, and there's been videos done on this and it's been on par with, um, uh, CRTs they've done reviews this is an XG270 ViewSonic monitor and yeah as long as you're as long as you can lock your game to 120 if the game's only 60 FPS you can't do anything about it and that's because manufacturers don't like including black frame insertion with their monitors if they run at 60 FPS but yeah for me this is like an ideal thing and okay let's explain a couple reasons why this could help well for one it makes the monitor even more dim and you're like well why would that be a good reason well if you have issues with crazy bright leds this could be a huge plus uh and then the motion blur like this puts this on par with like how a crt used to run in the old days where how the motion is super smooth so yeah you get this game up to 120 and um, if I can find the video, I might just link the Blurbusters forum on it, but there is a guy who had done a review who had proven that this monitor running 120 with black frame insertion was actually had a cleaner image than a CRT, which is actually kind of cool and very surprising. So I don't want to say I use this mode a lot because a lot of times I will try my best to run a game at 240 hertz refresh rate. But there is moments like, so for this game here, for example, I've got through the first like quarter of it and I played it at 240 and then I just been playing through the rest of it now with black frame insertion on and I find it way more comfortable on my eyes. So for some people, there could be issues with black frame insertion. Um, you may be able to see the flicker. I know that there's some people that can't use CRTs because they can see the flicker. I can't tell you what your eyes see, but I highly recommend it if you suffer from motion blur, which means you get crazy eye strain from like fast uh, moving games or just motion blur in general. Like ever since we had switched to LED monitors, I have struggled with this. So there's kind of like an order that I go into. First of all, like my rooms will have um, halogen lights. I don't use LED lights at all. But second, I see if I can play my game on here 60 or if I can play it on my CRTs. And then here I start going for high refresh rate. So I like to get my games at at least 120 FPS. And if I can get it above and lock, then I will travel down this route and I'll check it out if uh, black frame insertion works really well for that game. So. I would say for um, what's really cool about this too is this is a hardware version of it. So you can just go in and if you have a Linux computer, it doesn't matter because it's baked into the hardware. So it has nothing to do with Linux. So I think if you're a Linux user, this is awesome too. 
because I know people always worry about compatibility. Oh yeah, it only works for Windows or whatever. So there's this monitor here. It's an XG270. I know that's Blur Busters approved. I believe the other one is like an XG2431. That one's only a 24 inch. So this is a 27 inch monitor. Those both have black frame insertion. And I know that um, LG OLED, I feel like their 2020 one had the best because you any game that you could get up to lock 60 FPS, you could get it to run uh, OLED's version, which I believe is called Rolling Scan. It's slight, it's done slightly different than how an LED would do black frame insertion. But I just wanted to put this out there. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about black frame insertion enough and how it cleans up motion so good and it could be real helpful. I could even imagine if you're scrolling and reading a lot, um, just getting the motion clean, like it wouldn't help you with like 30 FPS content. Like you have to make sure you're at locked 120 or this just is not going to work. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.